Ay ay ay, Tarkov Arena guys. Why is Tarkov Arena the worst Tarkov experience? In today's video we'll talk about all the different aspects of how bad Tarkov Arena is and why. Not going to mention maps. General Tarkov gameplay or oh, cheaters. Ah, oh, we love them. We are talking about the basics of how Arena works and why is it so bad. Let's go. Dear comrades, I'm in the German is back and I'm glad to have you here. First of all, let's start with something simple. Matchmaking. 10 or more people are needed to start a match. And I can tell you it's harder than it sounds because it's every time, every freaking time, player number 10, not accepting and you're starting all over again. Waiting till you find 10 people, 10 or more people and you wait till everybody accepts. Then you're waiting for server, then you have loading all the loot and you're waiting for other players loading Tarkov Arena from the HDD which is externally plugged in and you're waiting for minutes and minutes and you cannot do anything. Then you wait again because everybody has to buy their kit and you're waiting and waiting till you finally get into your match and you lose 0-5 because you have the wrong kit, everybody else is better or whatever. And that brings me to my next and the most important part of why Arena is so horribly bad and they are pretty close to another game which I played, World of Tanks. It has the same bad mechanics but it's even worse in Escape from Tarkov. A good loadout matters a lot. What is a good loadout? Basic weapon but watch out for having a decent ammo and the reason is quite simple because if you're starting right now you're facing guys with ammunition which is decent you're facing guys with a good armor sometimes or very often face shields and all that kind of stuff so make your decision right if you're not already started with a good one because you're leveling your tree in a very bad way you're starting with the first one you have to play the first one till you reach the second one and if you reach the second one you have to play it till you get another one but that's the only way how you can level stuff so how to get different loadouts in Tarkov Arena let's check this guy out the attic decent armor you have to play him for quite a while then you unlock the radar you have to play the radar and just the radar to unlock the blackjack you have to play the blackjack and the blackjack only to lock out lima and the centurion if you want to play the tactical guy because everyone wants to bail because everybody wants to be tactical right you have to play the papasha and only that guy not this guy the raider or the attic so only this guy let's say like that's happened to me quite of, quite often i don't like the blackjack or this line anymore i'm going to play scout so you have to start again with the MP guy or with the plant plantain till you are unlocking the Vityas guy and so on and so on. What's the result out of this? The result is that everybody else, they are continuing playing a line, playing a line, getting good stuff and you have to start all over again. It's not too bad that you have to start all over again. The bad point is you are in a match with the better, way better geared guys. And I'm not talking like the next one, for example, if you're playing the handler guy you matched with the those guys over here no you're getting the real good guys because if you're starting all over again for quite a while if you want to try out different kits you are starting from zero but your matchmaking is not even you are getting matched based on your level not based on your kit the matchmaking process is done after everybody accepted not when you're choosing your kit and this is really important so if guys are complaining about the matchmaking or thinking the matchmaking is when they are buying their kit it's too late the matchmaking it's like in csgo after you press next and after you're starting next and looking for a match this is when you are starting start playing the game and this is the main reason why tarkov arena will provide you the worst tarkov experience all the hacking time and this is why the Tarkov Arena experience is the worst Tarkov experience ever because it's basically a fresh wipe experience for you after several weeks or months into the wipe when you want to try a new let's say the marksman line or something else you have like this shitty kit and everybody else 
has the good stuff already. So imagine you're like a new player, bought it after several weeks or for Christmas, even right now. If you're getting Tarkov Arena for Christmas, you will have a hell of a shitty experience if you get like compared or matched to other guys. And this experience is pretty bad, let me tell you this. Or even if you played for quite a while and you want to try the shotgun guys or something else, you have to start from zero, but you get matched with all the other guys with their good kits. And this experience is really, really bad, really frustrating, and it's not fun at all. There's a pretty simple fix to all of this nonsense. Tarkov has to be painful, Tarkov has to be torture, I get it. And I've mentioned it already, I'm coming from World of Tanks, I know how painful progressing is. But then I've experienced War Thunder, and War Thunder is doing it very great. And then I started with War Thunder. War Thunder has a pretty decent way to progress in the tech tree. You can still start or play tier 1 tanks and research higher tier ranks. And this is what we can do in Tarkov Arena as well. For example, you play the tier 3 blackjack and you get like 50 or 75% XP for the marksman if you set the like a marker you want to um, level this guy. Or you say, okay, I want to get this tactical, I'm playing the blackjack, it's in the same tech tree, let me give some 80% of my experience is going into the tactical in or into whatever. It's a pretty simple fix reducing the pain of already spending quite some time researching the centurion oh, and then you are noticing well the centurion is not great at all i want to start or i want to level something else and not going back to zero because right now if i want to play the brony for example i have to go back to put the papa Sha and level and start all again which is not fun at all but well maybe that's that's how it should be because it's tarkov right and you may think it's not as bad as an escape from Tarkov, because an escape from Tarkov, after weeks or months into the wipe, you can kill a high geared guy, stealing his loadout, save it for yourself and use it. Of course you can do the same in Arena, but only, only during the current round. It would be a different aspect if you keep the stuff you looted in round 1 into round 2. But of course, then it's not as competitive, so to say, as Tarkov Arena wants to be. But Tarkov Arena is not competitive at all in the current state, but this is, this is, I guess, a topic for another video. I will keep you updated, I will do some loadout tips, and the main reason for that is I try to start from zero several times to try out a lot. I'm getting punished right now because I'm getting matched with all the mid to high tier guys. Nevertheless, um, this experience, or oh, I want to share with you my experience. So I hope you enjoyed this video, see you around, and leave a comment in the comment section below, guys. Bye.